Hi everybody, welcome to Sook Vibes. In today's video, we are going to cover the next part for the questions Eco-friendly use of the motor vehicle dealing with traffic restriction. This topic falls under the main topic of technical conditions, eco-conscious use of motor vehicles. Let's begin. What should you avoid for reasons of environmental protection? Loud music with window open? Yes, because loud music with window open cause noise pollution. Letting the engine warm up when the vehicle is stationary? No, you should not wait for the engine to warm up when your vehicle is stationary. You should start moving gradually. So as you move, your engine is going to warm up by itself. Unnecessary trips. Yes. So those trips which can be avoided, you should also avoid them. Going towards the next. You are driving through city traffic in rush hour. What are the effects of stop and go driving? Stop and go driving means you are accelerating, then you are braking, accelerating, braking, and so on. You keep on changing your speeds. My vehicle creates more nuisance for others. Nuisance means that you are annoying or creating inconvenience for others. For example, if you are stopping and going, braking and accelerating, it will cause more inconvenience for others. My vehicle consumes more fuel. This makes sense because you are not going to drive with a steady speed. My vehicle creates more exhaust gases. This is also correct. Where can used oil, lubricants and car batteries be taken to be disposed of properly? In the household waste, no, to recycling centers and to car workshops. This you have to remember. What should you do to help protect the environment? I should switch off the engine if waiting for longer periods, yes. For example, if you are waiting at railway crossing, then you should switch off your engine. Avoid unnecessary driving back and forth, this is also correct. Have the motor vehicle inspected if the exhaust is emitting an excessive amount of smoke, yes. So you have to inspect your motor vehicle. How can you reduce noise? By driving at high engine revolutions, no. Higher the engine revolutions, higher the speed and more the noise. By driving in fourth or fifth gear in built up areas, this is correct. By driving at high speed, no. By doing so, your engine is going to have more noise. You are driving a purely electric vehicle in a residential area. What should you be aware of due to lower engine noise? Pedestrian will not notice me or will do so later than usual. Yes, because your engine is not making any noise. So it may happen that pedestrian will notice you a little later. Cyclists driving ahead will turn left without looking behind them. Yes, why is it so? Because you are not creating engine noise. So cyclists, pedestrians, they will not notice you. Vehicle falling behind will tailgate me? No. Vehicles falling behind will tailgate me? No, this is wrong. Since your engine noise is lower, it doesn't mean that the vehicles who are falling you, they can't see you, right? But of course, for the pedestrians and cyclists, your engine noise is not making any noise or it's very low, then they will not notice you. What cars that are driven within designated environmental zone must display a particulate matter sticker? So all the cars, cars with petrol engines, diesel engines, electric motors. For example, if there's an environmental zone as over here, and these are the stickers which are required to enter into this zone, then all the cars, they must have these stickers. Otherwise, they are not allowed. But of course, there are some exceptions as motorcycles, three-wheel motor vehicles, agriculture and forestry tractors, and vehicles with special privileges. Except from these vehicles, all the vehicles who want to enter into the zone, they should have the particular sticker. For example, here, there's the Umwelt zone, and these are the stickers which are required. You are in a traffic jam, driving at walking speed. When is the least we are exerted on the clutch of your manual transmission vehicle? When I repeatedly start and stop driving, no. When I drive slowly with the clutch slip, no. When I drive in a lower gear without pressing the clutch, if at all possible. Yes, if you drive in a lower gear without pressing the clutch, if at all possible, then your least wear is exerted on the clutch. What should you be aware of when charging purely electric vehicles? The charge time depends upon the power supply. This is clear. This is like you can compare your electric vehicle with your mobile phone. So it depends upon the power supply. Charging should only be performed with a charging cable approved by the manufacturer. Yes, otherwise it could cause accident. Charging is available at every filling station. No, this you have to check beforehand. Like which filling stations they are allowing you charge your electric vehicles. It's not available at every filling station. Why are short journeys performed with a cold engine, especially damage to the environment? Because driving with a cold engine means the level of the material wear is higher. Yes. More fuel is consumed. Yes. The vehicle's battery will be overcharged. No. How can you reduce the noise generated by your motor vehicle? By using tires that have a low rolling noise. This makes sense. By driving at low engine speed. This is also correct. 
by removing the air filter insert if you remove the air filter insert your vehicle is going to generate more noise so you should use tire with a low rolling noise and you should drive at a low engine speed what manufacturer specifications will allow you to know if your motor vehicle is environmental friendly from the details about the emission class yes about the fuel consumption yes about the efficiency category yes so from all the details you can know that your vehicle is environmentally friendly and these are the things you should also keep in mind whenever you are buying new vehicle what vehicles are generally exempted from the ban on road traffic in environmental zone so this we have already covered in the previous questions but i will just show you these are the vehicles which are exempted from driving prohibition in umwelt zone for example motorcycles three wheel motor vehicles agriculture and forestry tractors vehicles with special privileges ambulances on duty yes because these are the vehicles with special privileges agriculture and forestry tractors yes all motor vehicles belonging to the environmental zone inhabitants no so if you are living in an environmental zone then you have to have this sticker otherwise you are not allowed to enter in the environmental zone why does environmentally friendly driving in general have a beneficial effect on traffic safety because drivers think ahead when traveling so that possible dangers can be recognized in time and well avoided yes because if you are driving in an environmentally friendly driving what will you do you will avoid unnecessary braking unnecessary acceleration by doing so you will drive in a anticipatory driving style and if you drive in a anticipatory driving style looking for ahead what will happen then the possible dangers they can be also recognized in time and they can be also avoided because environmentally friendly driving avoids high speeds so that danger situations occur less frequently yes as i said that you will avoid unnecessary acceleration it means you will avoid high speed and the dangerous situation will also occur less frequently you are driving a motor vehicle with a manual gearbox what type of behavior pollutes the environment frequently pressing the accelerator while waiting at the traffic lights driving downhill in a high gear no an uneven driving style an uneven driving style is acceleration braking and so on and if you keep on frequently pressing the accelerator while waiting at traffic lights then it also pollutes the environment what can you do to help protect the environment i should avoid driving short distances yes so if the distance is short you can use public transport you can use cycle you can walk right so you should avoid driving short distances driving in crowded city centers yes because in crowded city centers you are going to do stop and go so you have to accelerate and brake accelerate and brake so therefore you should avoid driving in crowded city centers driving at flat out speed flat out speed is driving at maximum speed so if you are going to drive at maximum speed then it will be more fuel consumption this you can also avoid how can you save fuel by driving with winter tires the whole year round no removing any non essential roof boxes exactly because if you are carrying unnecessary roof boxes what will happen it will cause more fuel consumption by driving in a four sided manner yes by driving in a four sided manners that you should avoid stop and go you should avoid unnecessary braking or acceleration you should use the momentum of the car you have to wait because the rail crossing barrier is lowered how can you now help protect the environment at this point at this point what you can use by using the automatic start stop system if you are waiting at rail crossing barrier you should stop your engine so you can use automatic start and stop and by doing so you will not consume fuel by putting the vehicle in first gear no by activating the parking brake no but of course by using your automatic start stop system you can protect the environment the noise of the exhaust has suddenly become louder than usual what do you do renew the engine air filter nothing because nobody is in danger check the exhaust system yes you should check the exhaust system if it is defective then you have to replace it what can regular vehicle maintenance help achieve it ensures road safety yes because if you are maintaining your vehicle regularly then your road safety will be ensured keeping emissions level low makes sense keeping fuel consumption low yes when should you switch off the engine to save fuel and reduce pollution when you have to wait in a traffic jam for a long time this makes sense if you are standing in a queue you have to wait for a long time then you have to switch off your engine when you have to wait at level crossing or building sites this also makes sense for example if you are waiting at railway crossing and then you can also switch off your engine when you stop at stop sign no 
because when you stop at stop sign, you stop there for a few seconds. So it doesn't make any sense to switch off the engine. What results in increased fuel consumption of your car? Excessive tire pressure? No. A roof rack or sky rack? Yes. For example, if you have unnecessary roof rack on your car, let us say you are carrying cycles on your car on the top of the roof, right? Then it will increase your fuel consumption. Transporting unnecessary objects? Yes, because it will be more weight and your car will require more fuel. How can you save fuel? By removing roof racks or sky racks? Yes. Avoiding driving in top gear? No. By observing at least the tire pressure indicated in the owner's manual? Yes. So this is in the same way. If your tire pressure is going to be low, then it will consume more fuel. And if you are carrying unnecessary things, if you are carrying roof racks, then also it will consume more fuel. So you can remove them and you can also observe the manual, like how much tire pressure you need. You are planning a longer journey with a purely electric vehicle. What should you be aware of? The availability of electric charging station. Yes, because all the filling stations, they don't have the availability of charging your electric vehicle. So you should have a look beforehand that at which place you are going to charge your electric vehicle. The battery charging time. Yes. For example, how long your battery requires to get charged. So you have to keep this thing into mind. The influence of external ambient temperatures on the range. Yes, because in cold temperatures, the batteries are not charged up to full. So you also have to take care of the outer temperature. How can you save fuel if you drive a car with an automatic gearbox? Switch off the engine when driving down a gradient. Use the eco mode when driving. Yes, so you should use the eco-friendly mode. Do not press down hard on the accelerator when moving off. This is also correct. How can you keep the burden on the environment low? By forming carpools, yes. So you should share car. For example, if you and some other people, you are going into the same party, then what you can do, you can form carpools. By avoiding peak traffic periods, this is correct because by doing so, then you will avoid stop and go style of driving. By avoiding road with frequent traffic jams, yes. What increases the fuel consumption of your vehicle considerably? The use of heated seat, yes. The use of air conditioning, yes. So heated seat, air conditioning, you should use them whenever it is required. Otherwise, it will increase the fuel consumption of your vehicle. The navigation device, no. What motor vehicles are permitted to enter an environment zone without a fine particle patch? All motor vehicles with a catalytic converter, no. All two and three-wheeled motor vehicles, yes. We have also seen in the ebook that all two, like motorcyclists and three-wheeled motor vehicles, they may enter into an environment zone without any emission sticker. All agricultural and forestry tractors, yes. So we have seen in the ebook, for example, motorcycles, three-wheeled motor vehicles, agriculture and forestry tractors, and vehicles with special privileges, they can enter into the Umwelt zone without any sticker. You want to wash your car. Where should you do this? In interest of environmental protection. So you should wash your car at a car wash. In a car park, no. On an open road, no. What is precondition for environmentally friendly and energy saving drive? Performing vehicle maintenance regularly. This makes sense because by doing so, your engine noise will be controlled. Your fuel consumption will be control and moreover your vehicle will be more roadworthy. Checking the tire inflation pressure regularly, yes, because lower the tire pressure, more the fuel consumption. So you should check your tire pressure according to the manufacturer's guideline. Washing the engine regularly, no, you should not wash the engine. You are driving a motor vehicle with a manual gearbox. When driving, what can cause avoidable noise pollution? Heavily accelerating unnecessary, yes, because if you accelerate too much, then it can cause noise. Driving fast in low gears, Yes. Defective silencer? Yes. Why should you avoid driving off at a rapid pace? Why? Because this is a great strain on the rear brake because of the heavier tire wear? Yes. Because the noise you can annoy others? Yes. You are driving a motor vehicle with a manual gearbox on a level carriageway. How should you change gears so as to drive in a particularly environmentally conscious and economical way? So you have to remember Change up the gears as early as possible, change down again as late as possible. By doing so, you can drive a motor vehicle with manual gearbox, environmentally conscious and economical way. Drive until the upper engine speed range is reached in one gear before changing up. This is wrong. So you should take care of gears. You should change them as early as possible and down as late as possible. Which conduct shows awareness of the environment? 
changing to public transport at collective parking areas p plus r park plus ride so places where you see p plus r park plus ride you can park your car and ride with the public transport formation of carpools yes means car sharing switching of the engine in a traffic jam yes for example if you are stuck in a traffic jam you should switch off the engine you are driving a motor vehicle with a manual gearbox what style of driving results in higher fuel consumption within a built up area if you are accelerating heavily yes driving at an high engine speed yes driving in a higher gear so you should drive in four or fifth gear but of course accelerating heavily and driving at high engine speed it could cause higher fuel consumption within a built up area in this video we have completed 56 questions from the topic eco friendly use of the motor vehicles dealing with traffic restrictions which falls under the main topic of technical conditions eco conscious use of motor vehicles thanks for watching if you have liked my video please like comment share and subscribe if you are interested in any particular topic please feel free to write in comment section take care see you next time